kind of try to do something nice for somebody at least once a day. What's up, bro? Yes, sir. Pretty cool. I was uh, going through my stuff, uh, putting my comfort seat back on the motorcycle, and this is my grandpa's old toolbox. Still has one of his calendars in here. Cleveland, 1965. I don't know. I think that's cool. Paramoto here. How are you guys doing today? Today I'm doing fantastic. Hey guys, welcome to Vlog Thursday. If you guys like the channel, you like the videos, you want to see the channel grow, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. Anyway, guys, let's get to it. Oh my god, you guys are killing me today. So I'm actually really into like retro games like Nintendo 64 and PlayStation and stuff. It's just kind of like I guess everybody's got that era in time that's like your nostalgic area. Era and like Nintendo 64 and PlayStation are my nostalgia era that I love. So I actually follow a couple retro gaming groups on Facebook. And since I've had to be on Facebook lately to get updates from my Jiu Jitsu gym, I've been following them again. And somebody is selling a copy of The Legend of Dragoon that I just, I have to have. It's a little bit more expensive than it is on eBay and stuff like that, but this is actually in pretty good shape. like wait for shipping or anything like that because this whole covid thing like shipping is kind of like up in the air like you never know when you're actually going to get something you know if you're going to get it when you're supposed to or not so um i'm just going to go pick it up and like it's 30 dollars of just pure nostalgia and it's just so worth it and i remember like back in the day having this game as like a kid and like i ended up having to sell it because like my parents they didn't make a ton of money like they always made sure santa claus came they always had you no know, food on the table for us they did a, a bang up job um, but there were a couple of high school graduates that were working like that was a machinist and my mom was a secretary so like these aren't like super high paying jobs so if i wanted something expensive like video games or something like that like 50 bucks and up like that was on me like i had to be the one to go get it like i would have to do things like uh save up christmas and birthday money for a long time or uh you know save up my one dollar a week allowance for a year a year you think about one dollar a week allowance that's 52 dollars a year so you might get a new video game once a year if you save every single dollar so i ended up playing this game almost till the end and then the playstation 2 had like a sudden like reduction in price like it went from like three hundred dollars like two hundred dollars and i'm like i have to have this i need this playstation 2 so i sold everything everything i had to get the playstation 2 and that included the legend of dragoon and my original copies of final fantasy 7 VII and 8 which i have gotten back but um yeah i sold legend of dragoon when i was like literally this close to beating it so ever since then i have like just had legend of dragoon in the back of my mind like i need to play this game and i need to beat it one of these days hopefully soon and uh today's the day that i reintroduce it into my life hopefully hopefully this his copy isn't too bad it's not too rough or anything like that because i want to buy it either way to be totally honest with you I, I think the only thing it doesn't have it doesn't have the booklet inside so it's like but that's whatever like with the the internet and everything like that you don't really need the booklet for anything like i can look it up you know and figure, figure it out as you go along but i was actually looking at ebay and like like pristine copies of the legend of dragoon go for like 120 plus dollars i'm not looking for a pristine copy i'm looking to actually play the game you know, like some of these guys are like, oh yeah, I want like a new GoldenEye in the original packaging. Literally, you could have bought this from GameStop yesterday if you were in 1999. It's like, I'm not into that. I'm not into that at all. Like, I want to play it. Like if I had a classic car, it wouldn't be a garage queen. I would drive it, you know? So I'm cool with it being a little bit rougher. You know, like it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't know. I'm into retro games. I have, a, I still have a Nintendo 64 and I'm still collecting all the games I used to love to play on Nintendo 64. Like I got like Conker's Bad Fur Day. I have like the Mario Party, Mario 64. I have like GoldenEye, Mario Kart. Dude, I got so many great games. Uh, two of the original Tony Hawk Pro Skaters. Like I am set for a Nintendo 64 party whenever y'all are ready. <laughs> guys um anyway i got a couple questions to ask of you guys so firstly um with the prospect of 2,000 subscribers and my uh, 
if you watched the last video how i want to do a uh, basically a video every day august are you guys okay with videos like this where like we just like talk and we just bs and uh we just go about a normal average everyday activity or i mean what, what do you guys like on these vlogs i would like to know number two i still need ideas for a uh, viewer video friday there's a couple videos so i think i have like the rest of the month covered on video viewer video friday but i need more than that guys and i like to have a list of, of like the best to choose from so yeah, drop your viewer video Friday ideas down below. Man, I tell you what, like a trick to actually being able to sustain riding on a super bike is switch out your seat from time to time. Like I'm not talking about buy a brand new one. Like with this bike, I have the comfort seat and I also have the seat that I came with called the race seat. And uh, they put pressure on different areas of your bum and it kind of changes your angle on your sitting, like your rider triangle. So like the race seat puts less pressure on my wrist but more pressures on my bum. I just switched it out. Change your riding triangle from now, from time to time. I put the comfort seat on and oh my God, it's like I'm sitting on a pillow. I feel like a princess right now. I tell you what, for a while there, like my wrists were hurting so bad with a uh, with comfort seat going up. I was just like, oh my God, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do this anymore. And now like since going to the race seat, putting the pressure on my hips and my bum, and now coming back to having more pressure on my wrists than that, bro it's like i'm totally refreshed right now i kind of like sitting back and like sunken down and like sitting more upright on this bike but i mean i'm i'm super comfy i can ride all day like this right now it's weird being in these areas that are like straight up like uh, like super corporate areas that like have nothing in it right now i'm so excited for legend of dragoon i'm so excited i probably won't play it until like later on this summer because the last of us part two is coming out and that's like the best game ever damn it Arr. went the wrong way sorry sorry everybody sorry everybody i'm stupid this guy just moved up for me he's like oh this guy's an idiot let me move up let me let's give this dumb guy some space i don't know where i am right now all right guys we'll be back with you in a minute oh, man i just literally got a absolutely mint copy of the legend of dragoon i am so excited i didn't really want to show exactly where that guy lives because he hasn't really consented to being on youtube or anything like that i know like you know we're always you know maybe filmed in public and whatnot but we're literally meeting him up at his house so like i just i don't want to be that guy you know but he was cool he was really cool he had that like mike twice in voice though like a big guy with like a strange voice <laughs> oh he's funny my name is mike twice and i'm here to beat you up yeah i bet you could hello roundabouts those are like my favorite thing. They're so fun. It's just like, you get all these boring straight roads, then you get a roundabout and it's like, yeah, yeah, let's get low. I was like, literally, he's like, yeah, like just open it up, make sure it's got all the discs and stuff. And like, I, I trust people, so I wasn't even gonna do it. And I'm like looking at all these discs and it, they look brand new. Like you could have bought this thing yesterday. That black PlayStation, you know, bottom disc color. Oh man, it takes me back. It takes me back. The only thing kind of bad is like, on PlayStation uh, 4, you can't play PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, I have to get my PlayStation 3 out, which is whatever. I don't really care. This GoPro might die. If it dies, thank you for watching. Man, it's like a ghost town out here. I know what I want to do with this last $8 that I have left over, though. I had to go buy a monster to break money, so I have an idea. What's up, bro? Give me a second. Yes, sir. Go around. I'm doing something. You know what? I don't care. But some people are like, you know, like, oh, they're just going to go buy this stuff on booze. The dude's homeless. Like, if, if I was homeless, I'd want some booze, too. So, you know what? I don't even care. These guys are humans, man. They're humans. There's so many people out there that'll dog a homeless person. Like, oh, they're just lazy. Well, first of all, most of them, you know what? They've had a raw deal and bad things have happened to them. And some of them have substance abuse problems. And at the same time, who wouldn't? If you're in that situation, who wouldn't have a substance abuse problem? Maybe he does the right thing and he goes, get, goes and gets some food. But I'm sure $8 was enough to at least make sure that he doesn't starve today. You know, and I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Give this guy $8. Bro, who cares, man? It's a drop in the bucket, man and you get to do some good for somebody. So, 
that's my good deed for the day. I implore. I mean, that's just such a good practice. I mean, I, I just kind of try to do something nice for somebody at least once a day. You know, it's such a good practice. It does good for you and for your mental health, and it does something good for somebody else, you know? I mean, you can't change the world, but you can change the world for one person, right? But anyway, guys, I think we've had a very successful day. We've written, we've had fun. We bought a pristine copy of The Legend of Dragoon, and we gave a homeless guy $8. Man, I feel good about myself. I feel good about my life. I hope you guys liked watching this video. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Comment down below. I answer all the comments. I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.